Welcome to this Linux channel. One of the common problems with a newcomer to Ubuntu is to learn how to connect to Wi-Fi or to the internet. And you know it's a pretty straightforward thing but when you don't know where to go uh, well you just can't do it. On the upper right of your screen in the taskbar or the status bar there's a little icon now mine is connected so you see these little waves like you know radio waves uh, it might be grayed out or even might be grayed out with some kind of red icon on it normally that's where you'll connect so if you click on that you should see networks and actually when you first install Ubuntu it will actually tell you networks are available and it tells you that Wi-Fi networks are available and that's where you need to click to actually get your own Wi-Fi network so you'll click on the name of your Wi-Fi network one thing to make uh, maybe to be careful because it's easy to uh, not see your network the way Ubuntu shows the network is uh, basically pretty much by alphabetical order and not by power source so you know in, in Windows for example very often strongest are first and the uh, weakest are in the last but in Ubuntu it's by alphabetical order so what happens is it shows you like five or six but you really have to go to more networks because if your network isn't with the letter A or B it might not show up here so you have to click more networks and then you choose the network if it's not uh, visible and you know it's as simple as clicking and then entering um, you know your Wi-Fi credentials so when you click a network it's gonna tell you uh, here I'm just gonna let's try one anyone so when you click it says okay the key what's the key and that's what you'll want to do enter your own Wi-Fi key so here for example I'll go back to my network here we go and it says it's I'm connected and you'll have this little bubble pop up and say you are connected now in the event where you cannot see a Wi-Fi network and that is very very possible that might mean that you are actually your Wi-Fi card is not installed in Ubuntu and if it's not installed that's because there were no drivers available for it and unfortunately that is a very common problem the only thing that you can do if your Wi-Fi doesn't work is search the web for answers uh, you know go on Google with a working machine and the best thing you can do is know what Wi-Fi card you have so if you go from Windows to Ubuntu well one of the first things you might want to check for in Windows is what is my Wi-Fi card name and you know there are a lot of Wi-Fi um, network cards that unfortunately don't have a, a driver um, if that happens usually you do still have possibility to connect but you'll need to connect with an Ethernet cable plugged directly into the computer if it's a desktop it's not that much of a problem but if you're using a laptop I understand that it's uh, kind of a big problem one thing that you might actually check for if you cannot connect with the Wi-Fi card inside your laptop one of the solutions that I actually used personally for Wi-Fi was to go out and buy myself a Wi-Fi adapter um, and you know go to a small computer store and ask if the Wi-Fi adapter is compatible with Linux um, if you get a real geek there's a good possibility that you'll know which one you should pick if you have Linux installed on your computer uh, it you can say Ubuntu but you know what all Linux distributions in general use pretty much the same basic drivers so it's not that important that you mention that it's Ubuntu or whatever other Linux distro you are using um, as long as you know there's a, a good chance that it's actually compatible with Linux 
you can also go on eBay and you know search for uh, Wi-Fi adapters that are compatible with Linux, and you'll get tons of them. Um, and that's what actually I did on an older Toshiba computer where I installed Ubuntu and I had no Wi-Fi. So I just installed a small adapter and a USB port. And it really, really was tiny, so it didn't really, you know, change anything. And it gave me Wi-Fi that I didn't have with the laptop itself. Um, or else, well, your next chance is to, of course, um, plug in a cable and um, hopefully... Uh, maybe you'll get some update that finally has an adapter or Wi-Fi adapter driver for your own little card. Um, that's one of the things that's going to happen often with, with you know, pretty much every version of Linux. Some of the uh, hardware on your computer are, is not compatible with such and such. And, you know, this changes with each version. So if you... Uh, you know, are plagued with the fact that you have to plug it in. Well, you know, wait maybe not version 15 of uh, Ubuntu or in a little upgrade. I know there's 14.10, for example, that is in a beta version. Uh, maybe they have a driver and it's going to work. So uh, you can also wait for a new version and, uh, you know, install it and uh, hopefully cross your fingers that it might work. Now, one of the biggest problems why you don't have drivers is uh, when drivers for hardware are proprietary. That means that it is owned by the company that makes the uh, adapter. And when that happens, uh, it means that you're not allowed to really distribute that driver with Linux. Uh, and that's why sometimes some drivers you'll need to, uh, you know, put a check mark and say, do you want to download this? Because uh, we can't really have it by default. So uh, hopefully your Wi-Fi connection went well and you'll be able to, uh, you know, serve the web and uh, use email in your Ubuntu 14.04. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a, a feature of Ubuntu you'd like us to make a video of. Let us know. And by subscribing, you'll be uh, notified every time we have new videos, hopefully every week, of different versions of Linux. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.